This is entering the town of Songkhao. Yes, they really do drive like that. It makes a trip like this so much more interesting. Uh, you get passed on the left, passed on the right. They pass on the left, they pass on the right. They pass three abreast on a two-lane highway, sometimes four abreast. It's just one more thing to keep you on your toes. This takes us through some cow and north a little bit more on Highway 1. We didn't shoot anything of Winyon. We just went through it, stopped for a couple of minutes, got something to drink, something to eat real quick, and then jumped on Highway 19 and headed for MK. The guy in the picture is one of our old adversaries. Uh, talked to him for probably half an hour <coughs> and his unit was stationed in the Quaisons, which is very close to where this store is that we stopped. Now during the conversation it came out that he was down there in 66, 67 for about six months. He and his mates spent most of that time scared out of their minds. What they were doing was living in caves up in the hills and when they were ordered to they'd come down and harass us once in a while. Now this, this was just south of the position at the Liberty Bridge. But the problem was anytime that they harassed us they got it back four times as bad. And the other thing that had them scared out of their wits most of the time was that at night there were arc light raids 
over the caissons. That meant that for a couple of hours B-52s had come cruising through and I remember watching this in in 66. During an arc light raid the B-52s had come cruising through and just pound that area with bombs for a couple of hours at a time. So I can imagine what he went through. I understand why he was scared out of his mind. Uh, they had to be held for those guys. But he was very nice about it. He, he realized that uh, <laughs> we were all just doing our job. Pictures. <laughs> well, the ones that Lum took of the four of us sitting at the table. Yeah. Yeah, they were nice. You saw it already. I saw them. Ah, okay. Oh, and that's uh, right. I, I sent two of you, two. One is a little better than the other, I think. Uh, they would even be nicer today. I shaved and I have my makeup on. It doesn't matter. <laughs> you know that too, don't you? I know. It doesn't matter one fucking bit. <laughs> I'm going to post that on Facebook. Mike's saying it doesn't matter one fucking bit. There you go, brother. I use FKN. Oh, oh, okay. Okay. FKN. Okay. And then everybody knows that fuck it. I heard a voice. <coughs> hey, while you're out there, wash that wind. The dirty one. Not Steve's. I know. Now, can you get the way in one day? Yeah, but we're not going we're not going the way to way. Come be Yeah, yeah, fly.
all, your husband is afraid of heights. Secondly, I don't really like old suspension bridges. motorbike adventures. traffic on the damn road. The road surface, 99%, is very, very good. Uh, I'm just getting old. And that was a workout for me today. At the last two days. Uh, going up to Prowl was a workout. And finding the really bad road that we had to get back to the ethnic village <clears throat> after I had my workout. Kicked my ass. So we were very glad to find the little narrow ass suspension bridge and go across it last night. Uh, but this place is cool. The people all along the trip <clears throat> were up in the hills. <clears throat> the people are terrific. Everyone's been very nice to us, very kind. <clears throat> you pass people on the road, road, they smile, they wave. Uh, extremely friendly. <clears throat> 